What's up guys, Stark here. I am back for another Fate video, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the 5 star limited writers and all of their pickup summons for this year and next year. So there's currently 5 5 star limited writers in the game at the moment. Uh, we're going to be getting 2 of them, 2 new ones this year to make a total of 7 writers that are limited. Uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and talk about all of their banners that are coming out, with the exceptions of the GSSRs, because you can get any character on those so there's no point talking about them the first one we're going to talk about is going to be iskander iskander only has one raid up summon and that is going to be next year in november in 2025 uh, he did already have a raid up summit this year in january for the new year's event but that event has already happened so unfortunately if you did miss him on that banner you are going to have to wait until november of next year to pull for him so it's a bit of a rough one but GSSRs are always there to kind of hopefully mitigate that for for you if you did want him. Next up we have Artoria Pendragon Rider Altar or Maid Altar or Summer Artoria Rider whatever you want to call her. Uh, but anyway she's going to have two separate rate ups. There are going to be one this year one next year. The first one is going to be for the 7th anniversary countdown pickup which should be out around July for us of this year. And then next year they're going to be the 28 millions downloads 28 million downloads campaign which is going to be in june of 2025 next up we have ivan the terrible ivan is going to have two separate rate ups one this year and one next year and they look pretty much identical honestly um but the first one is going to be the road to seven lost belt number one pickup which should be out around march of this year and the second one is going to be the ordeal call pre-release campaign which should be in may of 2025 Next up we have Rhinez, who is going to have three different banners, although as of this recording one of those banners is already out, so depending on when this video goes live, this one might not be there anymore, but since it is live as I'm talking about it, we're going to go ahead and talk about it, and it's going to be the Lady Rhinez case files, so it's going to be available January 2024, which is happening right now. If you do miss out on this event, there's going to be two other chances to pull for Rhinez, but they're both going to be for next year. So the first one is going to be for the New Year's pickup in 2025. And the second one is going to be the Evocation Festival Part 5 pickup in October of 2025. And then last up for the final servant for writers for the ones that are already out is going to be Da Vinci. And they're going to have three different rate ups. Two of them this year, one of them next year. The first one is going to be the Learning with Manga collab, which should be out around April of this year. And the second one will be the Lost Belt number no. 7 pre release quest clear support pickup, which will be in November of this year. And then for next year, there's going to be one banner, and that's going to be the 8th anniversary pre release pickup, which should be out around July or August. Alright, so next up we do have the two new servants coming to the game this year that we need to talk about. The first one is going to be Constantine. He's going to have two different pickups. The first one is going to be on the Lost Belt 6.5 pre-release campaign. This will come out in May of this year. And then they will have one other banner in the 8th anniversary pickup, which will be July or August of next year. And then finally, for the 5-star limited writers, another new servant that's going to be coming out this year is going to be Kyokute Bakken. They're going to have two different banners, one this year, one next year. Um, the first one is going to be in June of 2024. I'm not going to even try and pronounce how that is said, uh, so we're just going to skip over that. But June of 2024 should be their debut, and then in July of 2025, I presume this is just going to be the return of this event and the return of this character and their banner for a second opportunity to pull for them. So there are going to be nine different casters who are limited and they're all already out in the game. No new casters for this year for five star characters for limited anyway. Um, but yeah, nine, that's, that's a lot of different casters for limited. They're mostly support characters and a lot of them you should really go after. Uh, the first one is going to be Leonardo da Vinci, who's going to have two different banners. Uh, they did have one other one this year, but that one was for uh, the New Year's Pickup Summon, which has already ended. So unfortunately, if you did miss da Vinci, uh, you won't be able to pull for her again until April with the Learning with Manga collab. It's not too much of a wait there, so not a big deal. 
the only other banner after that is going to be the fate grand order arcade collab pre-release pickup which will be in april of 2025 all right so next up we have Ilya. Ilya is going to have three separate banners one of them is going to be out this year and two of them will be out next year the first one is the seventh anniversary limited servant daily pickup this should be out either july or august for us of this year and then for next year we have the Ilya Ilya's castle pickup summon which is going to be in may of 2025 and then finally we're going to have the evocation festival part four in september of 2025 next up we have merlin merlin's going to have two separate rate ups the first one is going to be for the white day 2024 pickup this will be in march of this year obviously the second one is going to be for 2025 which will be the spring new masters campaign pickup moving right along to nero claudius or summer nero uh, she's going to have two different pickups one this year and one next year the first one is going to be the seventh anniversary limited servant daily pickup which should be out around july or august of this year for us and then the next one is going to be the revival battle in new york event which should be out may of 2025 Moving on to Scotty. Scotty's gonna have two different rate ups, one this year and one next year. The one for this year is going to be the Road to Seven Lost Belt number two pickup summon, which should be out in March of 2024. And the one for next year is going to be the Evocation Festival three pickup, which is in July of 2025. Next up is Murasaki, and Murasaki is another one of those Valentine's Day servants who's gonna have quite a few rate ups so no shortages here but the first one is going to be in february of this year which is going to be for our valentine's day pre-release event the second one is going to be the 108 halloween rebellion pickup which should be in october of this year and then next year we're going to have the revival valentine's day pickup summon which should be in february of 2025 and i do expect that in 2026 we will also have a valentine's day event which will feature murasaki so next up we have our Toria caster who is going to have three separate rate ups. Two of them will be this year and one of them will be next year. The first one is going to be the 25 million download campaign banner. This is going to be in May of 2024. The second one is going to be the Lost Belt number seven pre-release quest clear support pickup which should be in November of 2024. And then finally, we do have the 3000 day release celebration pickup, which should be in October of 2025. Next up, we have Miss Crane, who's going to have two separate banners, one this year and one next year. The first one is going to be the 25 million download pickup summon, which should be in May of 2024. The second one is going to be the Mystic Eyes Symphony pickup summon number four, which should be in July of 2025. And then finally, to wrap up the casters, we do have Izumo no Okuni, who's going to have two different rate ups, one this year, one next year. Both of them are going to be for the Guda Guda events, but for this year, it's going to be in September and 2024, and for next year, it's going to be in December of 2025. There are seven assassins currently out in the game right now, and then we will have one new one getting added in 2024. So we are going to start with Mysterious Heroin X, who's going to have two separate banners, one this year, one next year. The first one is going to be for the 7th Anniversary Limited Servant Daily Pickup. This will be coming out in August of 2024. And the second one is the Evocation Festival Part 2, which will be in May of 2025. Next up we have Shoot and Doji, who is going to have two raid ups, one this year and one next year. The first one is going to be the 25 million downloads pickup, which will be in May of 2024. And the second one is going to be the Evocation Festival Part 1, which will be in April of 2025. Moving right along here to Cleopatra, who is going to have two separate rate ups. The first one is going to be in May of 2024, which will be the 25 million downloads pickup, the same as Shoot and Doji. And then her second one is going to be in 2025 as part of the World Tour Pickup Summon Part 2. Alright, next up we have Hassan. Hassan had two separate rate ups. One of them has already happened though, and that was the New Year's banner in January. So unfortunately, if you missed out on Hassan, then you are going to have to wait until April of 2025 to pull for him on the Fate Grand Order Arcade Collab pre-release pickup. 
Of course, you do also have the GSSRs if you do want to go ahead and not wait until April to try and get him, but that is a random chance, so there's no guarantee there, even though you are guaranteed to get a 5-star. Might not be Hassan. Next up, we do have Sammy Ramis, who is a Valentine's Day servant, so plenty of pickup summons right there for her. Uh, only going to have two, though. The first one is going to be the Valentine's pre-release campaign, which will be in February of this year. And then we'll also have the revival of the Valentine's Day pickup, which will be in February of next year for 2025. All right, next up we have Kama. Kama's going to have two different pickups, one this year, one next year. First one's going to be the main interlude Labyrinth pickup, which is going to be in July of 2024. And the second one is the Paper Moon Kama pickup summon part two in June of 2025. Next up for the last of the servants currently available right now is going to be Koyanskaya of Light. Koyanskaya of Light has two separate pickups. Both of them will be this year. However, the first one did already end. Uh, it was the uh, Koyanskaya of Light pickup, which happened for part of the New Year's celebration. Uh, it just ended as of this recording. But she does come back one more time in Lost Belt number 7, Koyanskaya of Light pickup, which will be in December. Uh, so you do have to wait kind of until the end of the year for that. But I'm assuming if you did want Koyanskaya of Light, you probably would have picked her up uh, recently when she just came out. But if not, that is the next and only other opportunity to pull for her on a exclusive read up. So if you missed her in January, definitely go ahead and try and pull for her in December. She's one of the best assassins in the game. So definitely a strong recommendation for that. And then finally, we do have one new assassin coming out as a five-star limited servant. It's going to be Huyan Zuho. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced that somewhat close anyway. Uh, they're going to have two separate raid-ups, one this year, one next year. Their debut banner is going to be the 108 Halloween Rebellion pickup. This should be in October of 2024. And their second banner is going to be the return of this with the Mystic Eyes Symphony Huyan Zuho pickup part three in July of 2025. So two opportunities for them. So as it stands, there are eight five-star limited berserkers currently available in the game, and we will have one new one added to the mix in 2024. And we will start with Kintoki here. He has two banners, one this year, one next year. The first one is gonna be the Caldea Fairy Knight Cup, which is gonna be coming out in November of 2024. And the second one is the Evocation Festival part one, which will be in April of 2025. Next up, we have Minamoto no Raiko. Raiko is going to have two different banners, one this year, one next year. The first one is going to be the 26 million downloads pickup, which will be in August of 2024. And the second one will be the Evocation Festival Part 2, which will be in April of 2025. Moving right along to Mysterious Heroine X Alter. She's a Valentine's Day servant, so she's going to have quite a few pickups, and she does have three. The first one is going to be in February of 2024 for the Valentine's pre-release campaign. Second banner is going to be in August of 2024 as the 26 million downloads pickup. And the final one is going to be in February of 2025 as the revival of the Valentine's Day event. Moving on from a Valentine's Day servant to a Yuta Guda servant, we have Hijikata Toshizo, who is going to have a couple of raid-ups here, one this year, one next year. Uh, both of them will be for the Guda Guda events, the first one being in September of 2024, and the second one being in December of 2025. Next up, we have Arjuna Altar, or Gajuna, who uh, is probably one of the better Berserkers in the game. Also was, for a very long time, one of the rarest Berserkers to get. Um, having very few limited uh, pickup summons, but that's all changed now. We're going to have three separate opportunities to pull for Arjuna Altar. The first one coming as early as March of this year with the White Day Spectacles uh, pickup summon. The second one is going to also be this year in the Road to 7 Lost Belt number 4 pickup summon. This should be out around September. And the final one is going to be in the White Day Memorial pickup summon which will be in March of 2025. So definitely quite a few opportunities to pull for Gajuna here. And I strongly recommend picking at least one of these three to pull for. Next up, we have Miyamoto Musashi, the summer version anyway. Uh, Musashi is only going to have one pickup summon, and it's going to be this year. It's going to be for the 7th Anniversary Limited Servant Daily Pickup in August or July. 
depending on when we actually get this one for us. Uh, but the only banner Musashi has this year or next year outside of GSSRs. So if you did want Musashi, definitely make sure you take that opportunity to pull for them. Next up is a Serpent who's definitely had no shortages of raid ups throughout their existence in the game. Um, it's going to be Morgan. Morgan has three pickups. Uh, she's already had quite a few already since she debuted last year for us. Um, but yeah, they're going to be two more this year, one more next year. I'm sure there'll be more the year after that. Um, but the first one's going to be for the Sea Monster Crisis pickup summon. This will be in April of 2024. The second one is going to be the Caldea Fairy Knight Cup pre-release pickup summon in November of 2024. And finally, the 3000 day release celebration pickup in October of 2025. Alright, so I was a little bit wrong. It's seven Berserkers currently out in the, in the game right now, and two of them already, um, or two of them are new characters coming. I did get mixed up with Ibuki Doji as the character, because um, we already have an Ibuki, but this one is going to be the summer version of Ibuki, and going to be a new 5 star character coming out with their debut banner coming in the Arctic Summer World pickup in July or August for us. And then next year, there'll be another one, which will be in July or August of 2025. And then to wrap up Berserkers, we do have another new five star with Senno Riku, who is going to debut in September 2024 as a Guda Guda servant. And then in 2025, in December, they're going to have another Guda Guda event, which they will be featured as well. So two different separate banners there for you for that character um, to wrap out Berserkers. So let me know in the comments down below which Berserkers you guys are looking forward to the most and which ones you're pulling on. And I'll see you next time.